my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from May 30th to June 5th. I'm just doing a clearing on my desk, of course, my crystals. Oops, <laughs> almost burned the feather. Um, and my decks that you do not see that I'm going to be using. And of course, these crystals as well. And of course, some for you. Always remember that when you come into my readings, you are, you are always protected and you are safe and sound. Here's a clearing for you as well. And now, let's start. Let's see who's up next in the reading. Capricorn. Okay, hello my beautiful Cappies. How are you all doing? If you, uh, anywhere that you have Capricorn in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it. But there's times maybe that you'll be more in your ascendant sign than you are in your sun. So it's always, always, always important to look at your ascendant sign. The moon is about your emotions. Uh, Venus is about love and finances. And you can also look at your north node. In the reading, take what's yours and leave the rest go or let the rest go. And... Um, Feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. And cuspers, of course, and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. So, Cappies, let's get started with your reading. Okay. Let's see what's going on here for you. I already pre shuffled the cards. So, let's look at the situation at hand, Cappy. Queen of Wands. Let's look at what is crossing you in your challenge is the Seven of Coins. And let's look at the root. <laughs> the sun is shining on you. Beautiful. Now let's look at the recent past till now. You got the King of Swords. Let's look at the current energy. You got the Six of Wands. Again, the current energy. The King of Wands. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's look at the immediate future and how you're feeling, what is hidden from you, and the hopes and fears. Power is coming in. I'm sure there's going to be a Wheel of Fortune somewhere. Let's see what is hidden from you. The Queen of Swords. And let's look at the <clears throat> hopes and fears. The Ace of Pentacles and the, po uh, the possible outcome. The four of coins. Let's look at the overall, the five of swords. Okay, so this is how it may, okay, so the five of swords energy uh, talks about some type of conflict that you're in, maybe hostility, there could be disputes or arguments in a situation. Uh, but the five of swords, the way I see it in most of the cards also depending, uh, is that, uh, you know, while you're, while a lot of you have maybe cut out people from your maybe patterns or people or situations from your past, uh, people that don't have your back, you're able to walk away, but you have to make a lot of difficult choices on the, along the way. Though you're still carrying a lot of um, uh, some type of loss or sorrow in a situation, you're not playing that game anymore. Like in a sense, you're not going to bring yourself to that level. Uh, and it, I, I feel like there's going to be some type of like clarity or some type of breakthrough for you. Okay, but still you got the five of swords, so there could be some type of conflict. Uh, in the situation, you got the Queen of Wands. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a queen or a king. In the energy itself, this is someone that is someone that is very confident and they very determined. Okay, there's a lot of passion here. What's crossing you in your difficulty at this time or your challenge is the Seven of Coins. And the Seven of Coins talks about where some of you are feeling, maybe you're doing an overview of your money, maybe uh, your life example. I don't know what your situation is exactly, but you're finding that something is moving slowly in the situation in your life. And it talks about where you need to have patience here because there is, uh, of course, going to be results and growth in a situation or some type of harvest. In the root, you got the sun card. So yeah, the sun card talks about joy, happiness. Uh, you know, you've been stripped completely and it's like a, a child, you know. Uh, it's a sense of awe and wonder. Uh, that's coming in there's a lot of growth here okay and it's like of course the sun card is the best card in the deck and it's also an abundance card 
in the recent past till now, okay, you are the king of swords energy. This could be you and energy where, um, let's, let's, it's, 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 it's like an, uh, an eagle. An eagle goes on the highest tree or in the highest mountain, whatever, when they fly. And how do you think they catch their prey? They, ca they catch their prey. They, they see everything from a, a different point of view. So it's like the king of swords. It's about seeing things from a higher perspective. And I feel that from the past till now in the current energy, this is how you're operating. Okay. And this is because you have a lot of experience. You're very sharp in energy. You're very, you're very reasonable. Um, and you're, you're also, you stand in your integrity. What they're asking you to do is to remain objective in your current situation. Okay. This is about sticking to the facts and you need to make your point known if you have to. And this is about attaining your goals. The 601 shows up. This is about success, victory, and reward. Being, uh, being recognized, feeling recognized, or being recognized or rewarded or praised in a situation. With the King of Wands, again, this type of energy with the King of Wands is that there's a bigger picture here, right? A bigger picture. It's about you taking control. There's a leadership energy here. And it's about being bold and daring and optimistic. And it's going after what you want passionately. So the tower is coming in to clear the old and to bring in the new. Okay? And it may feel very chaotic or something is dis feels disruptive or it feels like there's a difficult change here. But it's for your best. So, so, there's, so the tower, the divine is coming in to clear. And what you're not seeing is this Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is not like the King of Swords. The Queen of Swords is different. Um, so the Queen of Swords, of course, she's very honest, very independent. She's fair and objective. But she thinks with her mind only about certain events. We'll see what this is about. In the hopes and fears here, if this has to do with business or a person coming in here, okay, because you got the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of... Someone here could be bringing a gift, okay? Um, this is about a, a, some type of gift or money. It could be a new financial opportunity that's going to bring you success because the Six of Wands is touching everything around you. In the possible outcome, you've got the Four of Pentacles. And this talks about where some of you are hanging on to something very tightly. So we're going to have to clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you. So let's look at the Five of Swords in the overall. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, Justice. Number 55 is here. Okay, so you're feeling left out, abandoned, posted in the dark about a situation here. Um, you know, maybe you feel that people, that there's been a lot of conflict or arguments or disputes or something in, a, in a, the, maybe in the last 10 years. Who knows, you know? But, what it, uh, but it can be also financial loss. Some of you had to go through. But this could also mean that you feel like you're lacking something. There could be poverty consciousness here, okay, for some of you. But you are going through these, uh, these emotions at this time in the overall. With the Page of Swords energy, there could be some type of online communication coming in, someone that's watching, watching you on social media. If not, this talks about someone that's coming in that's very curious and they're very communicative. They're very chatty in energy. And it's also about new ideas that are taking place here. With Justice card, this is a beautiful card, okay? And this talks about where... Uh, it's about balancing the karmic scales, fairness, okay? Something is coming uh, in balance here, and it's about the truth. So that you will have truth. Let's look at the Queen of Wands in the situation. Again, you got the King of Swords. It's about... Like I said, seeing things from a higher perspective. It's about your experience. It's about remaining objective. It's about sticking to the facts. You need to stick to the facts. And it's about also, like I said, you're going to attain your goal here. There could be a new opportunity coming away. It could be money. It could be opportunity or someone coming in as the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles that you got. If it's about anything else, it's someone that's very loyal and faithful. And while you're making plans, you're making future planning, you're making progress, you're making decisions, you're determined, but you're still, something is holding you back, okay? Like the Four of Pentacles. Now, let's look at the Seven of Coins in what's crossing you and your challenge here. So, 
you are manifesting. You got all the tools here. Some of you are developing skills and talent at this time. As you're raising your vibration, you're raising your vibration. You're also praising your vibration. Okay? It's all about gratitude. Because you got everything here. But again here, you got the five of swords energy. Okay? So you do have five, five, five. So there is definitely change coming your way. You know, you're, you're, this is a, there's been conflict in, uh, in the situation where, in here that uh, you've been going through, uh, Cappies, okay? There could have been disputes or arguments or hostility with people. Uh, you know, I feel here that you gained, you, you won in a situation or you will be winning in a situation where you're gonna, you're gonna cut off people or situations that are no longer for you. There's, there is a sense of like triumph or victory here that I feel with the Five of Swords. And yes, of course, the tower is coming in. It's out with the old and in with the new. The divine is coming in to clear the energy. So yes, it might feel that everything is chaotic right now. But just you know that the divine is there for you. Okay, it's the, like I said, it's, the, it's about clearing. Now let's look at the sun card. Because of course, the sun card is here for you. So let's take a few cards. I shouldn't be taking another card for the sun card. But I'll just take one more card to see. Okay, so there will be an unexpected or a message coming in. And this message will be very direct. Okay? And it could be a challenge. Again, with the Queen of Wands. This is all about your confidence in a situation. It's about how passionate you are about a situation and how determined you are. And again, the King of Wands comes in. This could be two people or one person in your energy. doesn't matter if you're female or male. It's the energy of card. The King of Wands, again, twice in the reading, just signifies that, it, it, you know, this is about, there's a bigger picture here. This is about taking control. There's a vision here, okay? And it's about leadership. Let's look at the King of Swords in the recent past till now, in the current energy. You're in the hangman position. Okay, you're suspended at this time. There's been a sacrifice. There's been a weight. You're in a cocoon stage here, okay? Where you're gaining, you're not really moving anywhere, okay? You're just suspended here. And you're gaining the clarity that you need with this King of Swords. It's been difficult. There's been a lot of hard work, burden, stress, burnouts, and also obstacles. So the 10 becomes a 1 and something will be relief. Like there's going to be something, some type of release here. This has to do with a uh, meeting. It could be romantic. It could be a unified love. It could be attraction. It could be a friend. It could be anybody. But definitely there is a meeting that has to take place here. Now let's look at the Six of Wands. Got the Two of Swords, 22. Wow. You've been waiting for something here. You've been waiting to be maybe uh, recognized or uh, rewarded or there's a sense of waiting that you've been doing and also difficult choices that you have to make along the way. It's about opening the heart chakra of yours because there's an ending that's taking place or already took place in your life. It could be a dead end, okay? It could have been a loss, okay? Or some type of betrayal. Uh, something ran its course here and... Uh, the 10 becomes a 1, so there will be some type of clarity that's going to come in. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Because I do see success here in a situation. One more card for the 10 of swords and the 2 of swords and the 6 of wands. Yeah. Well, definitely here. There could be someone that's very sensitive around you. Or you could be feeling this. But there's a lot of possibilities and opportunities that are here for you. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this uh, King of Wands in the current energy. Yeah, you have a lot of options here. Of course, daydreams, you're fantasizing, but there's also confusion. There is a fresh start that's beckoning for you, taking that leap of faith. This is a start of a new journey or a journey, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So definitely there's karma here. Change is coming. This is about luck. Something that's coming that's destined. Okay, so there's destiny here. But of course, there's always free will. Remember that. Now, let's look at the tower. It's about trusting your intuition. It's about trusting your gut. 
Okay, this is about mystery. This, this is about spirituality, and there's higher power here. There is some type of message that's going to be coming in. It could be an invitation or an arrival. And this is someone that has, uh, or this could be you in energy. Your head and your heart will be in balance, or this is someone that is in that type of energy. Someone that's emotionally mature and they value family. If it's about work situation, well, these, this person here is very logical. They're very practical and they're very wise. Now let's look at the Queen of Swords and what is hidden from you. So what is this Queen of Swords all about here? The Hierophant. It could be dealing with a Taurus energy. If it's not, this is about your North Node in Taurus right now. Um, again... It's about like some type of leadership here that I'm being shown. This could be marriage maybe for some of you out there, of course. But this could be someone that you're meeting in a social group. This is about higher power, you know. There's someone here that's very traditional. They're, they're very, uh, they, have a lot, they have a lot of belief systems and they're very knowledgeable. With the Nine of Wands, there's caution here. Maybe you're very cautious with the Queen of Swords. Like you're coming into this type of energy, like... This, you know, not being sure about something, so you're putting up your boundaries. You're very courageous and persistent, but if it's about love for Capricorn, there's more work to be done. The Seven of Swords. Someone here is, on, is not honest, maybe. You know, there could be dishonesty or lies in a situation. Uh, but the Seven of Swords energy here is also, what I pick up with the Seven of Swords energy is that a lot of you are carrying a lot of pain inside Capricorn. You're keeping it to yourself. You know, there could be some type of sadness or or trauma that you went through uh, or heartbreak. Uh, and also, uh, what I'm also picking up here is that this time you are taking time out to rest, to regenerate the body, mind, and spirit to gain clarity. So let's take another card for the Seven of Swords here. Just another card. Let's give me another card for the Seven of Swords. Yeah. So... This is about you keeping things to yourself and how you're feeling. With the Five of Cups energy, there is loss and grief in the situation. Maybe you have regret. Maybe you're feeling pessimistic. But you're looking at the cups that uh, there was all the interferences in the situation here where the cups have spilled over. And maybe you're angry. You're, you're resentful. You know, there's all these negative emotions that you're going through as you're releasing them. Um... Uh, Spirit is saying, well, yeah, we understand that. Now, I'm not talking about actually a loss because if you lost someone, someone that crossed over, there's no time limit of healing. Sometimes you, you heal. Eventually, you just learn how to cope with it. The healing comes in where there's a lot of self-love that has to be done. But uh, it, 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 sometimes uh, an emotional uh, loss, like you know, losing uh, someone like that crossed over is not the same this is not the card i'm talking about these are about connections that you had in the past that maybe didn't work out and you know or didn't work out about a situation here and even though like you're releasing it here okay spirit saying yeah but look there's two cups standing here you know um and uh, there has there's some type of merging that has to take place some type of bridging integration so it's all about integration here Okay, and a lot of you are being pushed in your north node, north node, which is a journey that you have to take here. Okay, so a lot of you are, are in your mind. You're not in your heart about it because that's the way it is. Give me another card for the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. What is the end conclusion? Well, yeah, you see, it shows me here. There's heartbreak. Like I said, there could be a lot. There could be some type of grief or sorrow. And it's about walking away from a situation here. You're walking away from something that really broke you. Okay, you're going to that nine and ten of cups. And with the seven of pentacles here, it's like you're doing a review right now. And you're thinking that things are moving slowly in whatever direction that is for you. You need to have patience here, okay? Now let's look at the uh, ace of uh, coins in the hopes and fears. You got the lovers. You have Gemini in your chart. There is lovers. There is partnerships here. Could be a friend. Could be anybody here. There's choices that you will have to make along the way. With the Knight of Wands energy, okay, I feel that there's people that come into your life that cannot stay. For some of you, there's interference from the past here. And there could be some type of rest. Someone here that has difficulty to commit to you or commit to a situation here. 
Uh, this is a person that's very charming, very energetic. They're free-spirited, but they're also hot-tempered. Okay, this could also indicate here someone that is planning to uh, relocate or ch change their, uh, uh, their residence. So you need to understand that there's choices that you will have to make here. Okay, so let's look at the Knight of Wands. One more card for the Knight of Wands, please. Wow. Your manifestations are coming in with the Three of Wands. This is about success. You're leaving something behind completely here. You went from the two to the three. So definitely there could be travel, expansion for you, or overseas opportunities. Your ships are coming in, but you need to be patient. Now let's look at the four points and the possible outcome because you're still holding on to something very tightly here. Let's look at this. Four, uh, the four of uh, coins. Yes. Four of pentacles. You got the sun card. The sun is shining on you. This is about joy. It's about happiness. It's about abundance. It's about feeling like a child again. In awe and wonder. It's about all the positive vibes. Let's look underneath the deck. You got the Queen of Cups. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Hermit. You got the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the this, the that, and the that. And here we go. Now, I'm, let's put these cards like this so that you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay? This was underneath the deck. There could be someone that's very supportive around you. It could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, but usually I call this a Queen of Cups is usually a Cancer card, I feel. But it doesn't have to be, okay? This is someone that could be a, someone that's very supportive. They're very kind and they trust their intuition. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is the food of life. There could be a new beginning in a project that you're working in that will bring you this, uh, like, uh, Ten of Pentacles energy where this talks about where there could be, it could be a st stability or legacy or financial success if it's about finances or this is a person that's coming in here that could bring you this like if it's it's about love that could bring you the stability maybe they have Virgo and maybe you have Virgo in your chart but this is a time where you need to withdraw go inward okay and withdraw and it's like a journey that you have to take by yourself some of you need to take a journey by yourself you have to find 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 your inner guidance you have to trust your intuition there's someone here that's it could be you and energy, okay, Capricorn. But I feel that some of you are planning slowly. You're moving ahead, but you're planning every step of the way. With the Ace of Cups, if it talks about your spirituality, like walking your spiritual path, it's about uh, forgiveness, unconditional love. You will feel overwhelmed, but it's going to be something peaceful, not something that's nagging at you. You know, and uh, for others of you, this is new love. And again, the Ace of Cups, I see it as an abundance card. There could be a new financial opportunity or someone's coming in with a gift. With the Ten of Cups, you're going to feel, you know, there's going to be love and support around you, a family harmony. It's about new beginnings in emotions. It's about feeling contented and being grateful. There could be a soulmate and you are going to be healing from the past because from the Five of Cups, you got the Six of Cups in energy. So there's definitely a healing for you here. Okay. And uh, it's about, uh, you know, finding peace here in a situation. And uh, with Scorpio, you might you could have Moon and Scorpio for some of you. This talks about a transformation that you're going to be going through. There's ending of cycles and beginnings that are taking place. And yes, change is coming. And of course, you know, you're in a meta metamorphosis because you did get, I think, the hangman, if I'm not mistaken. And some of you are you're destined is with the Cancer. If not, this is about you taking control. It's about taking your power back. Yes, it's going to be hard uh, because the horses sometimes go from different directions one wants to go this way wants to go that way but you'll be able to go on course here this is about triumph it's about like i said it's about finding direction and taking control and there could be travel indicated so i hope you enjoyed your reading and now i will take out a um a guardian angel oracle card for you this one wants to come out and we're going to read it together this is a prayer Okay, so this is your prayer, and I'm going to leave it after here. So if you want to take a screenshot of it, you could have it and could use it every day if you like. Dear Guardian Angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. 
Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading caps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are one, together we are love, and together we are light. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.